Hello, hello, hello. This is Rocket from the Rockets Podcast. And before I will start um, doing a storytelling, as usual, how are you? And hope you are always doing good. Do you have it? And I apologize for just a little bit scattered in my head. I, I'm, I think I'm just tired. Anywho, let me play a little song before I will start talking. And that is loud. So um, I really don't have a good uh, headline yet, but I will have something in mind before I will post this uh, podcast. But what I would like to talk about today is about uh, clutters. And I mean like, you know, uh, when you have too much that you don't even know where to put it, I believe that is a clutter. So here's the thing. We are in our last week of boxing our stuff and ready to move out from where we at into a nicer place. And as I was going through boxing of my stuff last week, I come to realize that um, I had some clutters and most of them were actually like books. Because I love books. I learn a lot from books. So while I was um, looking at all the headlines, I mean the headlines, the title of the books that I have, there's a part of my brain will go, well, this is a nice book. This is a new book. Keep this book. Hang on to this one. Maybe I will read it someday. Those, to me, it drives me batty. That is just because... Um, if I never touch a book or books that I had bought in the past, it only tells me that I have no more use for it. You know, I believe uh, it is like committing junk side. Junk side is actually is a slow, painful stragulation of the senses. And although our brains are still intact, we're simply replaced thinking with things. Our accumulation accumulation have crowded out creativity and frozen flexibility. And that is some of the things that I have to overcome with, especially with my beading rooms and those beads that I had um, that's just been sitting in there. I hang on to it and then months and months after I realize I have no more use for them. So I decided to let it go. Um, you know, the truth is that in general, we're snap ups with so much free stuff and bought so many things to keep, to store, to clean, to polish and protect, protect that we don't have any freedom. Junkies are afflicted with the endless urge to have more. Enough is never enough, and to a lot of people, that is really, really true. Uh, we tend to want to have more and more, which is, to me, at first, it was okay. But now that I see worse, um, the extras I had that I shouldn't be keeping, I shouldn't be donating it, those are I get headaches looking at it and, you know, um, the other day I, I realized, okay, this is enough. I have this. If I don't have time to even read this book, then I there is no sense for me to hoard it or to keep it. So I parted ways with it and I am actually good with that. And um, what is it with uh, people in general that they have so much things going on in their house even they have have a cramp um, area they still want to keep shoving everything in there assuming that someday they will have time to take it to check it out to do something about it but the truth is they don't have it yet when it is time to move they don't even want to part ways with it what is the emotional uh, relationship to that kind of mentality when you know that something could be a, a broken watches you know um, you instead of throwing it away you will say to yourself 
oh, I can use this for a spare disc or I can sell this because I went through that. I just donated a lot of broken watches the other day because in the very beginning I said, oh, I can probably fix this or check it out. It nearly, it never happened. So, um, you know, uh, just imagine like those people who who pass away, who have a lot of uh, things in their um, in their houses, and the people that that person left behind are the one who's gonna start cleaning it up and notice and realizing that there's so much clutters that accumulated over a period of a lifespan that it's not even worth uh, saving it for. So. Um, I guess are you or are you one of those people who save everything thinking and or giving excuses that tomorrow you have a use for it I mean don't you get headaches don't you get like stress looking at it that you have so many of everything and you know that you're not gonna be use it yet you don't want to part it part ways with it um, give me your thought about it. And as usual, this is Rocket saying, have a wonderful day. Bye.